Welcome back, Devils fans. And if we needed any more reason to hate New York Ranger forward Matt Rempe, we finally got one. The news comes out yesterday on Sunday that at a signing, someone had brought the photo here, a photo of Bastion laying on the ice after a hit which Rempe received a match penalty and thrown out of the game for. Matt Rempe has signed this photo for a fan at a signing. And right away I say, wow, what a complete piece of garbage. This man has now been thrown out of the last two Devils Rangers games for dirty hits. And he has he has the audacity to sign it for a fan. I mean, wow. I have no words. You guys know what I think about this guy. And it absolutely pains me because I was – um, you know, talking positively about him before all this stuff happened. I thought he was good for the game originally, you know, and the energy was bringing the attention to the league. And then it quickly took a nosedive for the worst, and he's been doing cheap stuff. Shout out to our sponsors for tonight's video, Poland Spring, because we can't drink alcohol every night. And um, when I saw this, my blood was boiling. The fact that a fan brought this to the signing – celebrating, in number one, an injury, first and foremost, an injured player, ridiculous, and number two, a hit that was dirty and he got thrown out of the game for. I think it's very poor taste. I don't. I think a lot of players in that situation would decline to sign such a photo like that due to the nature of what it was, but not Matt Rempe. Not Matt Rempe, so he knocks players out of the game and will sign a photo capturing the moment um, and it's sad. And, and unfortunately, this is going to be one of the images now that linger on for me in my head of the season. The first image was the image of Bastion itself, of him laying on the ice, you know, bloodied and beaten. But now the image has been replaced with a signed <clears throat> version of that same image. So now, you know, I was outraged before with the whole thing. And now my I'm going to be picturing the picture of Bastion signed by Matt Rempe. I think it's a completely classless dirtbag move. And I think a lot of players w would deny to do it in that situation. I mean, I don't, I don't think that that's, that's an unreasonable thing for an athlete to do. Athletes reserve the right to decline signing tons of things, and you see it with a lot of at athletes for different reasons or another. But to sign one of an injured player when you were thrown out of the game, I think is completely chicken shit. And furthermore, the guy's running around like he's some tough guy. We finally got our man in between those last two Ranger games. After this game when Bastion was hurt, Tom Fitzgerald did something proactive on the season and went out and got Big Curtis McDermott, the toughest man in the national, as described by Mike Rupp, former player and current NHL Network analyst. And when challenged earlier in that last game, Rempe wanted no part of it. McDermott was going after him, you know, and, and Rempe was trying to play like the, oh, I'm, I'm going to take the high road and pick my spots when to fight. Like, shut up, man. You're a goon. You're here to fight. And I think it was it was cowardice on his part. I understand his hands are somewhat tied because Tortorella probably told him not to fight. But after, like, you know, multiple attempts of McDermott trying to get to him, he should have just obliged and, and dropped the gloves. I mean, he, he knows he owed us one. After knocking ba Bastion out, you totally owed us one. You know the code. The code has been in place for years, and he declined. Maybe he was planning to fight him later in the game. I don't know, and we'll never know about that particular game because later on in the game, while McDermott is on the ice – Rempe comes over with a chicken wing flying elbow to the head of Siegenthaler and knocks him out of the game. Complete, complete dirty play. This man is a nuisance. This man must be dealt with. And I could only hope he answers the bell on April 3rd when the Devils head to the Garden again because we're, com we're coming in there with a vengeance. This is war. This is absolute war. Curtis McDermott will be in the lineup. He will be looking for his pound of flesh, and I fully expect Rempe to run again. I really do. I, I don't think he wants any part of Curtis McDermott. Everyone's like, oh, he fought tons of guys. He's fighting guys that he's much bigger than, and I think that he, for whatever reason, kind of has a false sense of security with his reach and size against a lot of these guys because, yeah, he fought some tough guys that first week or two he was in the league, but all of them were substantially smaller with shorter reaches. I think that he thinks if he could use that long, long reach of his that, um, you know, it could – it could end up being a favorable matchup for him, even though some of those much smaller guys tagged him up a lot, including Olivier on the, on the Blue Jackets, got him with some killer shots, definitely kicked his ass in that fight. But when the monster of McDermott came knocking, he wanted no part of it. McDermott is much closer to his size. He's 6'5", and as Mike Rupp said, he is the toughest man in the national. And so I will 
give Matt Rempe a chance for redemption. If you are going to be a man, if you are going to honor the code of the sport, on April 3rd, you will drop your gloves and you will take this beating that Curtis McDermott will lay upon you. That's it. That's the only way. That is the only way. I don't know if he's going to do it or not. I'm very curious. Let me know in the comments if you think if you think Rempe's even going to drop the gloves or if he's going to run again in that next game. I'm very curious to what you all think about that. And let me know what you guys think about athletes signing photos of injured players like this. I mean, I think this is completely disgusting. And uh, it was a penalty, you know. If it, if it wasn't a penalty and he got thrown out of the game, I still think it's in poor class. But it's it's not the same. And the guy missed time, you know. So I, I don't know. Very curious to see what you guys think about all of this. But I'm ho just hoping April 3rd we get our payback. And I'd love to see an opening line brawl. It probably won't happen, not likely. I don't know that we have the personnel to do it. But I would absolutely love to see the game start off with a line brawl like it did to in 2012. And just everyone drops the gloves right off the face off and just squares up. And let's get this out of the way. And I'd also like to see, you know, we saw Timo Meyer last night um, take on Anders Lee after a cheap shot to captain Nico Heischer. And maybe, maybe Timo needs to get involved too. Maybe Timo just needs to square up with one of their forwards or defensemen, whoever it is. But I'm hoping that there will be blood. We've been smacked around all season, and this is just – the latest chapter of disrespect towards the New Jersey Devils, Matt Rempe signing a photo of an injured Nathan Bastion on the ice from that game about a month or so ago. Absolutely distasteful. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this, uh, and hopefully Rempe gets his. Hopefully he gets his very soon. But to see this photo signed by Matt Rempe, shame on you. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, friends, let's go Devils.